just like me. Backstage pass at the 2012 National Urban League Conference. Thank you for being here with me. I'm so glad to be with you, and what a finish. I mean, Stevie Wonder was a tour de force, and Eric Holder was an inspiration, and Burnett Johnson was also just, uh, just an impressive uh, lineup of awardees. Our friend John Campbell from Wells Fargo, uh, 1,500 people in the room. This conference has just been absolutely one of the best in Urban League history. It was an amazing conference. What are some of the main important points you want people to take away from this conference? I'd like people to go back and look at the president's speech another time. Uh, that's something they'll be able to do at NUL.org uh, because of the webcast relationship with Broadcast Urban. Uh, I'd like people to go back and take a look at our keynote, State of the Urban League, and I want people to take away from this the need we have this fall to occupy the vote, to participate in democracy, and to be civically engaged. And all of the speakers this week were about inspiration, determination. Uh, this generation's civil rights movement is strong because we've got new leaders, we've got young leaders, and they're melded together with veterans. Uh, these are crucial times, and with this conference here in New Orleans demonstrated, is that there are a lot of soldiers in this fight. And as we move forward, lastly, what's going to keep you empowered um, as we look forward to the next conference? Probably a good night's sleep. <laughs> I just need one good night's sleep. Uh, what will keep me empowered is the dedication of the affiliate movement on the ground in those communities all across the nation who are trying to empower communities and change lives, trying to help people find jobs, trying to keep them in their homes, trying to help small businesses grow trying to help their children get educated. That's going to be the inspiration, the fact that so many people are committed to doing that work.